So today I got my Imperial Charade um, Sodbuster here. Um, I think it has the model number on it. It's the IMP. The IMP 22L. The L stands for large. Um, they have miniature Sodbusters and they have the big one. This is the big one. Um, these are of course made in China and I just got this today. Um, my first impressions of it is, you know, the quality control on it's kind of, and there's a low spot there in the um, Delrin. There's a little gap here where there's the shield mounted in the Delrin. Um, you know, the the scales are kind of like I. Like I dropped this bringing it out of the package and the one scale kind of lifted up a little bit. So they're not real tightly mounted on there. Um, the knife itself doesn't look bad. Um, I will say the blade is not sharp. It needs sharpened. Um, so I have to do that. Um, but you know I paid less than $10 for this knife. Um, of course then I had to pay shipping. So it was more like you know $14 for this knife. Which, I mean, that's like half the price you're going to pay for, you know, a case sodbuster. So, you know. Um, I, I guess I'll see if that was worth it or not. Um, you know, the uh, fitment between the blade and the back spring here. Let me try to get this focused. The fitment between the blade and the back spring here is actually pretty good, um, which I'm impressed with. Um, but yeah, like this, this is definitely a lower quality knife than the um, Case Sodbuster, and also the blade's kind of like a weird shape compared to the Sodbuster here. The Case Sodbuster, you can see that this has more of a like they're definitely different blade shapes. I was expecting this blade shape to be more like this. Um, but yeah. So, first impressions, it is definitely lower quality. Um, it has some fit and finish issues. But the knife is on Amazon for like $8, eight dollars and some odd change. And you know, if you have Amazon Prime or whatever, I guess you would get free shipping with that. I didn't, so I had to pay like five something for shipping, so, yeah, so, but anyway, you know, obviously I can't say too much about the quality of the knife because I did just get it in the mail, so, my first impressions of it is that it definitely feels lower quality than the Case Sodbuster, and it's not sharp, so, yeah.